The 2020 athletic season is disappearing fast. The Olympic Games and European Championships have already gone. Our athletes remain in lockdown and Jazz Sawyers and Guy Learmonth have been sharing their thoughts on the future since the Olympic Games have been postponed. It's sad um, because the Olympics is, you know, it's the greatest show on earth. It's, it's what we train for. Ultimately, everybody wants to go to the Olympics. Me personally, I was injured in 2016, but it's been my whole life. It's been 10 years of hard work. It's not just been three, four years. It's everything's been put into it. And this was the year everything was, you know, based on indoor season I had this year. I knew it was the one. I finally got everything together and everything clicked. So for it not to go ahead is, is, is heartbreaking and is seriously hard. But I know deep down it's the right decision. It, we've now got a date for next year. So we need to just work back from that now. I'm glad we've got dates now to work towards. You know, I've got a countdown uh, app on my phone and that's just been, I've just adjusted the dates on that. Um, and the goal remains the same. And hopefully, I mean, the way that my career was going, I was hoping to be better next year than I would have been this year anyway. So in my mind, it gives me a year to be even better. The knock-on effect means that there are three major championships the following year. The World Champs, West Coast, USA, then three days later, the Commonwealth Games begin in England, then straight to Germany for the Europeans. 2022 is going to be a crazy year. It's, it's unheard of that we've got three major championships inside five or six weeks. I want the triple. I mean, look, with an event like Long Jump, to do what will be six rounds uh, in six weeks, that's very doable. Uh, the jet lag will be something else. But luckily, with a technical event where, you know, it's not going to be as physically exhausting as, as something like a three rounds of an 800 metres, um, you know, feasibly, I could only do seven jumps per composition. If I can qualify for the final in the first round of each one, which I don't know if I can do, but that's obviously going to be the goal, then that's, you know, a total of 21 jumps in, in six weeks. That's not too crazy. If you don't want to do all three, then don't do all three but don't moan about it online. I think the people that do want to try and go for it, then let's, let's go for it. Because um, the ones that are setting the stall out saying they, they're going to go for all three are going to be the ones that are going to best prepare for it. The jet lag will be something to contend with. But look, it's a challenge. I love a challenge. We're all athletes. That's what, that's what we're kind of in it for. Um, we'll never get the chance to have potentially three major medals in that short space of time. Running for Scotland, I, I, would, I would always prioritise the Commonwealth Games. You know, I think it's different for us. I don't know about the other nations. Um, I know in Scotland it is everything and, and the athletes feel that way as well. And then I think the Europeans will be the one where you hang on for dear life and pray to the gods, see your legs hang in there. I just see it as an opportunity to potentially get three, bring three medals home. It's as simple as that, really. It's exciting. I think I get why people are complaining about it, but what, what's the alternative? Well, just don't have one of them. I don't think that's, that's a good enough option. I, I like the idea of this big challenge. I think it'll be fun. Bring it on.